A death investigation is like a puzzle. This can't be real. Two law enforcement agencies investigated piece by piece the death of Tamla Horsford. Both concluded she got so drunk at a party she fell from a balcony after everyone else had gone to sleep. But her family insists that narrative doesn't solve the puzzle. Maybe she fell off the balcony, but she's stiff. Okay, is she breathing? I, I, don't, I don't know if she's face down. Forsyth County deputies called everyone that attended the sleepover back to the house for questioning. But it wasn't until the GBI got involved two years later that police searched for evidence on their phones. By that time, two people had new ones, and text messages and pictures from other phones were gone. But like an ambulance didn't come, we just saw her come out in a body bag. No one tried to roll Tamla over to render CPR, not even police, who called off EMS. There was no effort whatsoever done to try to save this woman's life. The only one we know who touched Tamla's body was the homeowner's boyfriend. He declared her dead after touching her leg. I have one um, deputy that's about to pull into your subdivision. Then the destination is on your right. Tamla's family believes race also played a role. The only black woman at the party in a county with few black people. The lead investigator on the case, Michael Christian, is accused of calling Tamla the porch lady and making derogatory racial remarks during the investigation. I mean, that's horrific. And the racist, bigoted, sarcastic, funny way of this sick son of a On top of that, some of the responding officers knew the people at the party. The man on that 911 call was a former probation officer who, at the time, worked in the county's court system. And another woman worked with an officer's wife. I'm sure you're good because her, her, her boss is my wife. So, well, then you're more than good. <laughs> in the recordings, we heard police tell the family that when the investigation is complete, they can access all of the records and the pieces will finally fit. But they don't. Legally, this case is this case is just beginning as far as I'm concerned. I haven't been able to grieve her because I've been trying to fight for her justice for three years. I have to know the truth. 